What's up y'all? Got you a video today with uh, touching on a little, well expanding on a little something I guess I should say that we've already touched on before. Uh, and it's this Opsol Mini Clip 2.0. Uh, if y'all have watched my unboxing on this Maverick 88 and the, the first range day of it, uh, I've actually used this thing just a little bit because I had gotten it in at the same time. So I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it. I wanted to get the, get the main, main things of the Maverick in there, main testing of it, I guess I should say, and not spend a whole lot of time on this at the, at the time. Uh, but I did have that in there and we did run some little mini shells to it. And it run fine. Uh, I just didn't spend a lot of time on it. So uh, I wasn't real comfortable at the time saying, yeah, this thing's a go for me. I, I would definitely trust this sucker. But we're going to take a good look at it today and make this whole video about the little mini clip and running these little mini shells in it. So um, like I say, it's the Opsol mini clip. It's basically just a uh, shaped engineered piece of rubber that fills the gap in your receiver to run these little mini shells. And if y'all not familiar, I'm sure everybody is by now if you're watching this. Uh, these little one and three quarter inch mini shells you got I got some Aguilas here and I got some Federals basically the same they both inch and three quarter uh, they both got buckshot the, the Aguilas just got a little mixture of different size buckshots and the Federal are all one size buckshot so but pretty much the same same size crimp's a little different on it Aguilas got like the standard shotgun type of crimp the Federal's got like a roll crimp with the uh, with the plug on the end of it um, but anyway, like I say, if you've ever tried to run these things without this adapter, you know they can get, I mean, it's just a matter of, you can, you can see the, the size just isn't made for these little suckers. So you may have some shells wanting to flip around on you when you chamber it and all kind of goofy stuff. And that ain't no good for sure. That's definitely not the reliability you want. So the guys over at Opsol come up with this, this uh, thing to fix that problem. They are American made, uh, American owned company, veteran owned out of Texas. But, uh, and this thing's just simple. It's nothing permanent that you have to install. It's a simple pop it in, pop it out kind of deal when you want to use them. Now, as you can see now, with, with it in, it takes up all that space. And this thing is basically designed to fill that space as, as well as kind of absorbing the, the recoil from those shells coming back so they're not flipping, flopping, going crazy, going up into your, coming out of your tube and going up into your receiver. It just basically keeps them lined up straight so you don't have any kind of crazy jams or flipping around or anything like that. Uh, but they load up exactly the same as you can see. Uh, of course, the benefit of running these little minis is number one, uh, you got more capacity. This is a five round standard, uh, standard magazine tube. You can hold five in there with these little minis. You can put eight in there. So that's a big benefit, bigger, uh, bigger capacity and they've got less recoil. So if you got somebody that's really recoil sensitive, these are a good option for uh, home defense. If, if you're using a shotgun that way, you know, you can, you can still manage the recoil and these things are still very effective. Don't let the little size fool you because they definitely can still get the job done. But, um, uh, I'm going to run this little clip in here of my wife, uh, my sister, and my niece running some of these things. all three of the girls seem to handle it pretty well my wife absolutely hates shotgun she's she's not she don't like recoils of a shotgun at all and 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 she didn't love it still by any means but it was very much more hand manageable but like i say they all all three said no nah, it wasn't really much to it so uh let's get out here on the range and i'll do some testing on it for myself and uh tell y'all what i think about it all right y'all let's put a couple more tubes through with this little ops all mini clip in it just to make sure it's good to go i feel like it's pretty i feel like it's pretty solid right now but as y'all can see it's installed in the bottom there ops all mini clip 2.0 uh we got the little gila minis in it right now we got eight of them eight of them in the uh tube and one of them in the chamber let me get my eyes on here so we're gonna put nine total little minis down range here we'll take out some of these two liter bottles see if we can get them out of the way That was it, boom, run flawless. 
So the, the mini clip did its job for sure with them Megillas. All right, y'all, got us another tube full loaded up. Eight in the tube, one in the chamber again. This time we're running with the little Federal shorty. Basically the same thing. They just got one type of buckshot instead of two. So we do got a bunch of boom booms out there right now. We're going to finish it off. And that one in the middle is my arch nemesis. And I'll show you here who that is. That's right. It's the old jet dry. And for those of you who have watched my brass cleaning video, y'all know why I've got a hate against the jet dry. He tried to ruin my brass, so we're going to take care of it today after all this time. We've let him slide a week or so, but we're going to take care of him right now. So let's get to it, y'all. Here we go. We didn't set many boom booms off, but we did get that jet dry. I think I got three or four explosives somewhere. I can't see nothing. The doggone rain so smoky. Let's see what we got. Here we go. I think we got one or two, but that was all my shells. I'm going to load us up a couple more. We're going to finish some things off, man. All right, I put us a few more little minis in there. At least we got that jet dry on the first round. Missed them two on the center blocks. I noticed I'm shooting high with these little minis for sure. I don't know if that's me or if it's the minis, but let's see if we can take them last two out. I think that one just don't want to blow up. I think we took care of them though. That was just being stubborn down there, man. I went down there. I, I was just wasn't hitting it with enough pellets. It looked like one nick to top of the container. That stuff's a little finicky, but we can't leave that thing standing, man. Let's see if we can take it out. There we go, finally. All right, that was all of them. All right, y'all. I'd have to say the old Opsaw mini clip did its thing, man. Y'all seen it. It run every shell now. Granted, it was a fumbly bumbly mess for me at the end there. Them mini shells were just shooting a little high, I think, man. Or either I was just crazy high uh, with my sight picture. But uh, anyway, either way, it wasn't a mini clip's fault at all. It, it ran every round, even though we didn't shoot every round too well. But uh, for me, hey, this little mini clip's definitely a thumbs up, man. It does its thing. Uh, uh, I, the first time I ran it, I didn't put much through it, so I really couldn't say either way. But uh, personally, if, if I wanted to run only mini shells in it, like especially for, for maybe a woman, I ain't saying just a woman's recoil sensitive, but anybody that's recoil sensitive and don't really like shooting shotguns because of the recoil on it and wants to shoot them mini shells, this mini clip's the way to go, buddy. It definitely does what it says. It fills this gap to keep them from flipping around. It absorbs the, the backwards recoil off the shells on those mini clips and keeps them from flipping crazy and, and gets them ejected proper. So it does what it says it's supposed to do, man. So it's a thumbs up for me for sure. Uh, if y'all like this video, man, if you found it useful, give me that thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Have y'all ever used these mini clips? Have you Do you shoot mini shells? What do y'all think of them? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep track of all the rest of the stuff I got coming out. We're always having fun out here on the range, reloading, ammo hunting. We do a little bit of everything. Y'all know how we do it, man. So uh, definitely hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to me. Check them Amazon affiliate links down in the, in the description. Help me out there. If you're shopping on Amazon, click, go do it through them links. It don't cost you anything extra and we get a little kickback on it so uh in the meantime until the next video y'all stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon